Lynn Schneider with SPTV and I'm reporting from the third day of the biennial quilt show and joining me right now is Pat Meredith, the group leader. Pat, tell us what these last three days have been like. Busy and this is sort of tapering off but we've had a good turnout and a lot of people are very complimentary about the show. So Pat, tell me about how many participants we had here in terms of people who made quilts or displayed quilts in today's show. We had I think about uh, 20, somewhere around there, 20, 25. And how many quilts are here? About 130 wow. of various sizes, full size and table runners and wall hangings and so forth. Well, let's take a walk around and we'll look at some of the quilts on display. Okay. So this is an example of the scrap quilt that you were telling us a little bit about. All right. This one is done all by hand, pieced, quilted by hand. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's almost machine stitched, but it's all hand done. This quilt in front of us here, the Lone Star is all hand done and hand pieced. The Lone Star with Prairie Points by Elaine Neighbors. It was hand quilted by Elaine with feathers and hearts. This quilt was started in the late 1990s and was finished in 2016, just in time for the quilt show. This is an applique quilt where the roses are on top on the background fabric, and, but it's all hand done. Now this is the Heart of Roses, it's by Pat Bays, and it looks like it's appliqued and hand quilted. She did a beautiful job here, and she adapted this from the book, The Heart of Roses, a pattern by C. Jean Horst. Now these are some more traditional looking quilts. Tell us a little bit about this, it's called The Hexagon Puzzle, it's by Sue Sees. She was the gal that you saw at the beginning over there with her, and again, her beautiful hand stitching, and she did this with variegated thread, get it out here, and uh, it's just exquisite, very exquisite. And it really does, when you think about it, it does look like a puzzle, doesn't it? Tell me a little bit about this quilt. I noticed that you are the person who made this quilt. Tell me what inspired you. Well, I found the fans after Mother passed away, and I put them in a drawer and forgot I had them. And after I got down here to Shell Point, I thought, going through stuff, oh my goodness, I should put this into a quilt. So I did, but I had to cut them down and I added this, and then I machine quil quilted this one uh, rather than hand quilted, but that's how it came about. Well, that's a beautiful way to remember your mother and the work that she did and to incorporate it into something that you've done as well. All right, so tell me a little bit about the double wedding ring here by Becky Anderson. All right. Becky's new to our group and she just moved in and it's a modernized double wedding ring. The old one is not straight, it's rounded, but this is a, a modernization of it and it's very nice. She, she was able to buy a yardage that I will give thanks to the Lord with all my whole heart and so forth and she incorporated it into the quilt. Yeah. So it's much more geometric then, but it still has the rings. Right. It has, has the rings, but it's modernized. Now this is a fun quilt because the colors are a little bit more vibrant. This is a stack and whack pinwheels. I love that name. This is by Bethany Reynolds and it's machine quilted by Carol Cosgrove. So this is a fun quilt. This is the 60 degree stack and whack and it was made by Debbie Melke. And it was part of a group project that was taught in the class by the quilter group. I've never seen anything quite like this. It's like a mural. And at church yesterday I said, I knew that Carol Elrod was a diamond, but I didn't know that she was multifaceted because I knew she had written books and as an author and did all these things. And I said, I never saw anything, a quilt that looked like a mural. So that's why I came back today and brought my husband because I've announced it to others that you had to come and see this one. So Pat, tell us a little bit about these vintage quilts. These are older quilts, and the two on the end are what we call crazy quilts. And you can tell this one, they're usually silks and satins, and because of the dyes used, they're very fragile. You can hardly touch them without it flaking off. So we're standing in front of a quilt called the Navajo Code Talkers, and it's made by Marie Michelle McCarthy. Tell us a little bit about your quilt. Well, I made it because I lived in the France during World War II, and the Navajo used their language as a code that the German could not, they could not break it. So they really did a lot for us. 
So I'm very grateful and I wanted to honor them and have a keep safe what they've done. So Marie Michelle, tell us a little bit about the choice that you made in colors and also in the design. Well, the design was done by somebody else, but it represents, you know, the blankets of the Navajo Indians. It's, it's the same type of color and design, more or less. So I just wanted to uh, honor them because they were so wonderful. Now, every year I know you do a Quilters Challenge, and what was the theme for this year's challenge? This year's challenge was we were given that piece of aqua fabric. There were eight of us that chose to do it this year, and you can see what ended up. We had people come in. They only have to make a choice from eight. That's better than going. They think they have to, oh, I don't want to vote the whole thing. Well, no, you don't have to. So this was the challenge this year. So you had eight entries, and each one of the participants took that aqua fabric and then created their own design. And uh, so now we're going to find out shortly who the winner is. And I must say, they are all each unique in their own way. So I'm here with Laura Slack, our Director of Resident Life, and now it's the big time. The quilt show is coming to an end, and uh, what do you have in the box here? The reveal. These are all the ballots for the quilt show, and we're going to count them right now, and in a couple minutes we'll be revealing the winner. The quilt show is a fun project. Tell us a little bit about what this means to Resident Life here at Shell Point. Every other year the residents have this quilt show, and as you can see, the hundreds of quilts that the residents have made, and I think it means a lot to the residents of Shell Point. You can see the art and what they can do with material and fabric. I mean, they're beautiful. So with us, we have five of the eight contestants in the challenge, and we have the results here. So without further ado, the winner of the 2017 quilting contest is number two. The show for 2017 is coming to a close and quilters are already planning their quilts for the next show which will be in 2019. If you're interested in learning more about the quilt group here at Shell Point, contact the service desk and they'll be happy to connect you with the group leader where you can learn more about this club and about the projects that they work on all year long. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lynn Schneider on Shell Point TV.